Hello, hello, good evening everyone And this is Lai <coughs> And welcome back to um, Wink Positive And our topic tonight is about traveling together Especially with um, uh, kids with kids And we have a uh, six years old, you know Especially we have a small babies, you know with our special guest again <laughs> Arthur <laughs> and yeah together uh, traveling together right and sh- we're gonna share stories tips and experience about <coughs> how traveling as a couple can strengthen the bond and creating lasting memories um, um, can I get your co- opinion <laughs> well traveling is very positive of course especially with younger children they learn things they see things they don't see at home and they're very excited with the whole aspect of moving in trains in airplanes in buses it's very exciting for them and it does strengthen the bonds as a family it can be very uh, difficult especially if the child is upset or unhappy or the wife is very upset or unhappy but Generally speaking, it will strengthen the family and it will provide lots of lovely things to chat about later on. Yeah, that's correct. And we're going to start um, when we are in we in Hong Kong. I mean, when we are in Hong Kong. <laughs> <laughs> well, the funny thing is, talking about traveling, we actually met on a train. So that's a good start. And uh, you know, we have traveled around a lot as a couple. And of course, when the baby came along, we traveled around a lot with him and especially to the Philippines. He loved the Philippines. Yeah, we've been, we, when we are in Hong Kong before, um, we, uh, we live in, we live 10 years in Hong Kong and it's a lovely place, but very expensive. And um, we've been, because we've been in Thailand because it's quite uh, near to us in it. In Hong Kong, yeah. Yeah, and then the Macau is a lovely place to go. Loads of, um, what do you call Gambling thing. Casinos. Casinos and lovely, uh, yeah, lo- lovely people too. And we're back to Thailand, right? We traveled in Thailand before with my um, a, a sister-in-law because we have a small baby. I think Cameron was... Um, how old is One or two. Yeah, eight months at that mm. time. And yeah, they're doing well with the airplane, crying crying sometimes because of the <coughs> you know, air, air something, air, air, air pressure. Some, air pressure or something, yes. Mm-hmm. And what are you going to uh, share with us about Thailand? Cameron's very lucky. He's traveled a lot more than many young people of his age. And as Lance says, he doesn't mind flying at all. He's been very good. When he came on the plane to the UK and uh, to, uh, to to the Philippines, which are like 10, 12, 13 hour flights, he doesn't mind it at all. He is very, very good. But he was too young to have much to know about what our flight to Thailand. But he enjoyed, we stayed in a resort with swimming and lovely food. He enjoyed that very much. Yeah, we've been in Koh Samoy, we've been in Bangkok and Koh Samoy, area in thailand is such amazing place isn't it and there is a uh, we stay in a nice hotel with um surround of swimming pool do you remember oh that? yes yes it's beautiful lovely swimming pool lovely food and uh, lots of lovely surrounding countryside and for me there was excellent fishing you can catch really big fish in thailand which yeah. i really like yeah where where was that uh, you done fishing? That's in Hua Hin. Uh, well, I fished all over Thailand, but the one that was nicest was close to Hua Hin. That was a very nice fishing resort. And you caught um, a big fish. How 130 pound carp. It was wonderful. Yeah. It was wonderful. It's too difficult to <laughs> get rid of. <laughs> it took three of us to lift it out of the water for the yeah. photograph. Yeah, that's right. And what is your favorite food? Uh, Thailand Thai pa- what is your I think yellow curry. I'm not a fan of the really strongest curries, but 
a yellow fav curry I can tolerate well and I like it very much. Yeah, I like green curry, but yeah, just smile because I'm not good in, <laughs> in really hot, too much chili on it. And I love their um, mango and what is sticky rice. It's the same, in the same, we have the same, similar in Philippines though. There, there is um, sticky rice, but we put in, you know, um, banana leaves and just exactly the same, but it's, it's, it's not the same procedure when we make it, I think. Mm. The, yeah, that's very nice. I like that too. Yeah. And they have some sort of milk or cream with it. It's yes. Very nice. I cannot make the cream. It, it, it's something, we, we have the coconut, but it's not, <coughs> I cannot get the cream exactly what I want. I, I need to learn that, <laughs> but I love it. Yes, yeah. but the, the flavors with Thai food is very, very nice. Yeah. yeah. And they do nice things with eggs, special types of omelets and things, which yeah. are very, very nice. And also um, lots of pretty girls. <laughs> oh, I wasn't going to mention that. I thought I might get in trouble. But yes, there's lots of pretty girls there. It is so funny that we been in um, a pretty girls area, right? And and there's a guy there, a gay one, like you know, they sat down and exactly what you know. It's funny. They knows how to to entertain people. Right? Yeah, very friendly with both me and and Lance. It was good fun. Good. Yeah, fun. and also because my face is like um, a Thai, so they think that I'm a Thai. So some people, you know, I have a a, a palm. I mean, <laughs> I have a foreigner. We, I have him together in the street and they think that um, it's my customer so they, 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 they are really jealous at me because <laughs> you remember that? Yes, yes, and we got stopped by the police who thought you were a Thai. Yeah, it's funny that, isn't it? Yeah, very strange, yeah, very strange. Yeah. But not a negative uh, thing, they weren't funny at all. Once they saw that Lance was a Filipino, they had no problem whatsoever. I don't know why they stopped, but I'm a, if I am a Thai, on that time, what they can do? What do you think? <laughs> Same with Philippines, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. And yes, I love the country. I love the area we've been to. Do you like to go back in Thailand? Very much so. Yes, I would. Mm. And if and when we live in the Philippines, it will be quite easy to do so. I very much enjoyed the fishing there. Fishing is a passion of mine. And the fish that you can catch there are like 10 times bigger than the ones you can catch in the UK. And the yeah. types of fish you can catch are incredible. It's wonderful. Yeah. I like it very much. And they have elephant sanctuaries. So we can take there's lots yeah. of things for Cameron yeah. to enjoy. Yeah, yeah, I love Thailand. Yes, and um, you like you like to live there. Oh, I'd live in Thailand if I wasn't with you. Yeah, I would. <laughs> if I had to choose between Thailand and Philippines, I'd live in Thailand. Yeah, is it similar? Um, um, the money, the okay. You know, the value of money is similar in Philippines, isn't it? Yes, it is. It Just is. The culture cheap. is very different. They're not a Christian country. Well, I don't think the Philippines is a Christian country, but they, they're very different in the way they, they act. And it's a safer country, I think. But, yeah, Philippines is fine. But, you know, I, if I had a choice, mm -hmm. I think Thailand would be the place I would go. Yeah, lovely. Um, then we... Next, next one is... We we been in Philippines last uh, February, yeah. Three of us, and how do you feel that? How you oh, like it? Oh well, I've known the Philippines for a long time, so it was not different for me. But I love the warm weather. I do not function well in the cold weather, and there are so many things about the Philippines I love. Again, the food is very very good. The culture, everyone is friendly. Nice places, nice plants, nice animals. I like the place very much. What's um, just honest, you know? Um, just give me an honest answer. What is the 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 thing that we do in Philippines in when we are there? What is the most thing that you hate? Hate? Oh, I love. I'm not really sure. How about that? <laughs> you upset about then? We've been in the bait. 
Well, I thought it was a beach. That was your fault. Um, <laughs> I wanted to go to yeah. a beach, but they got taken to a cobbly sort of cove area with no sand, but lots of stones, which were a struggle to get up and down and taking like 50 million relatives. But <laughs> So I was not too impressed with that, but the whole beach was very nice. No yeah. problem there. Yeah, it's not a, a good beach for especially you, you know, it's too difficult to walk down. And that is a, you know, mistake really. I agree what you're saying about it. And um, yeah, but um, that's natural, <laughs> natural way, <laughs> isn't it? Oh yes, I've no real problem, but everything else about it, the service in the cafes and the restaurants and the shops, people are very friendly, very nice. I do enjoy all of that in the hotels. Everything's very good. I have no complaints with that. And also, uh, Arthur is first time in our province. And how do you find it? Well, again, um, the thing about the southern Philippines is it's slightly warmer than northern Philippines. Mm -hmm. And so the, the trees and all the vegetation and that tends to be bigger. And I did notice that. And I love the big trees and the coconuts and everything else. Mm. I love it very much. And, and, and all the animals that you see. I was lucky enough to see a parrot and I've seen other things other times. Beautiful. Yeah, if you can see the um, zoo there, you're going to be, you're going to like it. A lot of zoo, zoo that we do. We <coughs> don't have time to go because it's too hot and we're tired, you know. You know, one month, uh, one month vacation in Philippines is like, it's just one day, <laughs> you know, like, it's very, it's really quick. We didn't realize that, oh, it's time to come back now to UK, isn't it? Yes, that's right. Well, we split the time. We, we sometime we were in the villages with Lance's family and sometime we were in the city, Cagayan de Oro, which, which again, I like very much. There you have all the facilities like an international city. You have bowling, you have cinema. So you can lead whatever sort of life you want there. Very, very nice. Yeah, and, and Cameron, yeah, Cameron like to see the, the relatives, the clan. <laughs> he has lots of, he's being, he's like an only child here. So when he mixes with his, um, his cousins, it's really, really good. He likes that very much. Mm. Yeah, how how about the airport? Can you describe the can you describe how's the airport in the province? Philippine airports have improved a lot since I first starting travel started traveling to the Philippines 20 years ago. They've improved a lot. But the regional airports, of course you can't expect as much from them as you can from Manila Airport. Cebu Airport was very nice, but the regional airports tend to be a bit basic. You can't get everything that you would want in a bigger airport, but I have no complaints, they're fine. You're not afraid of planting bullet in your Oh, the, the, the bullet planting thing, uh, that's quite historic. That, that, that was a thing in Manila, but it's been knocked on the head now. No, nobody dares to do that now, but the Philippines was, and still is to a large extent, a very corrupt country. And that was one of the symptoms of it. But they did nab the officers who were doing that. And it doesn't happen anymore. Do you want me to explain what that's all about? Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. There was a scam going on in, in Manila Airport whereby the immigration staff would open your luggage and just put a little bullet inside. <coughs> mm -hmm. And then that would show up on the x-rays and they would fine you for carrying explosives. Yeah. And of course the money just went straight into their pocket and there's yeah. nobody to complain to. That was a dreadful thing, but it's, yeah. not, it's over now. It's over now with the, tar the 30. Um, and right now you cannot touch any luggage really. Well, we never know <laughs> behind the scene, but uh, that is the rules that you can just, you know, touch. If, if they find something on your luggage, they won't a, um, open it by themselves. You need to you need to be there to open it, your luggage. That's the rule. Is that good? Yes, I guess it is. I didn't know that. I don't remember that. Yeah, and I very it. rarely fly into Manila now because I, yeah. I go to other parts of the country. But as long as they've stopped doing that, it's fine. It's good. Yeah. How about the airplane? Which which is your favorite airplane? Well, with airplanes, the bigger the better for me. 
Yeah. I don't. The smaller planes get battered about more. I've, I've flown in a six seater, but uh, the big ones with like eight or nine across are much, much better. And as much legroom as possible. None of them have enough legroom and space for me. Wow. But they're, they're okay. Yeah. And the entertainment and the food is generally pretty good. I don't have a yeah. complaint about airplane food. Yeah, yeah. Quite good. And also, um, you know, the business class, if you maybe move to business class, it's better, but it's too expensive, isn't it? <laughs> I won't do it because it's just one day. Why? You... <laughs> well, if you're traveling 14 hours, 16 hours, it can make a big difference, but it is so expensive. I have in the past traveled in business class and once or twice in first class, uh, but uh, that was not when I paid for it. It was when as a frequent flyer, I got upgraded. And it's wonderful, of course yeah. it's wonderful, but I'm also fine in cattle class when I have to. Uh, how, is there any first class and then the real business class? It's three classes on big planes. Oh, really? Yeah, on, the, on smaller planes, sometimes you don't have a first class, mm. but in most planes you have a, first cl a business class and an ordinary class nicknamed cattle class. <laughs> Why cattle? <laughs> <laughs> but... Um, uh, the bigger planes have first class, but with only like three, four to six seats. I remember the one time I flew in first class, the chef came and sat down with me to discuss my dinner, oh. which was really nice. But um, it's all good anyway, it's all good. Oh, that's good to know because I didn't try it. Yeah, <coughs> um, yeah that's good. And um, what else are we going to uh, talk about it? Do you, do you know? And not Anything? really. The only Any other time ideas? we've travelled is on buses. Yeah. Uh, we travelled on a bus to London once, which was quite good fun. We stopped for snacks on the way. Cameron is very good with travelling. He gets irritable when he's tired, but he would do that whether he was at home yeah. or on a bus. He get if if he gets tired and want to sleep and you cannot, she, he cannot lie down straight and he find annoying about it and but get cry. Then. Yeah. The same, yeah, <laughs> the same with his dad, really. And well, just try, j I will try my best to make him, you know, lie down in my leg, or you know, or <laughs> I just sit down the floor and he can have the seat, really. <laughs> same with um, Arthur, really, you know, like sitting down in the. And you overcome anything like that, and it's just the same for flying or for traveling, because with fl flying and traveling, you are likely to be disadvantaged more. You're likely to be having to move around when you're tired. It's just a question of time. And getting over these things and working together does strengthen your bond. Yeah, and patience. <clears throat> Need more patience. <laughs> patience, patience. Yeah. And that's it for tonight, really. I hope you enjoy that and see you soon again. Thank that's it. Thank you so much for listening. And hopefully you enjoy that your discussion with Arthur. And I have some traveling tips here to make the most of your travels and build more beautiful memories um, one is plan together collaborate on planning your trip from choosing destination to activi activities discuss preferences and create an itinerary that caters to both of your interests and second one is be flexible both of you <laughs> Embrace this opportunity and be open to unexpected adventures. Sometimes the best memories are made when plans don't go as expected. And the third one is disconnect to connect. Consider having take pray moments to fully immerse yourself in the experience and each other's company it allows for deeper connections and more meaningful experience and the fourth one is 
capture moments yeah this is very important especially these days <laughs> yeah, take photos and videos to capture special moments but also make sure to live in the moment yes and balance between experiencing and documenting your journey and the fifth one is try new things this is very challenging and challenge yourself to try new activities or experiences that you wouldn't typically do it can be exhilarating and create lasting memories yeah like you know jumping hide jumping in somewhere <laughs> i can't do that sorry <laughs> what is called bongo jumping uh, yeah i can't do that i'm not brave enough <laughs> right and the sixth one is create traditions establish travel rituals and traditions that are unique to you as a couple it could be trying local cuisine collecting souvenirs or taking a yearly trip to a special place Seven says, communication is key. <laughs> yes, and keep communication open throughout the trip. Just references, concerns, and feelings to ensure you're both enjoying, enjoying these experiences. Yeah, that's great, great things to do. And hope you enjoy it. <laughs> and I have some music here by um, Lincoln Grounds, Tom Jutz and Charlie Step. Get love, get lit love. <laughs> That's the title of the song and I will play for you and hope you like it. And we have an other song too. Uh, one moment. Okay, the title. <laughs> Yeah, one moment is a um, Christmas song because it's it's time to sing a Christmas song. Really, if <laughs> we can sing a song any time, but um, yeah, this is a um, Christmas song. One moment, I I cannot find the title. <laughs> Hope you enjoy this one too. Let love take over, move a little closer. No, there ain't nothing better when you let love be the reason for your dreams. We won't see no kings or queens bringing this world any peace unless they let love. Same guy standing by, waiting for something like he's out hunting for some trouble to get into, to get his name into the news. Let love take over, move a little closer. No, there ain't nothing better when you let love be the reason for. See no kings or queens bringing this world any peace unless they let love. Unless they let
cookies and the bells on an open slate. All I gotta do 